Hey, what is going on, Hustle Buddies over on YouTube? My name is Nate, and here on this channel, we share tools, tips, and advice for Amazon sellers to grow their businesses. Now, in today's video, I'm going to be talking about something that is very specific and very timely to right now, and that is how to appeal A to Z claims. Now, I'm going to be honest with you guys, this video is going to be a little bit rough. I was not planning on doing any more videos for the rest of the year. Um, all of my video gear, all of my mics, all of that stuff, it's all packed away, and I'm not really going to be doing any editing to this video either. But one thing that is very important to me here with Hustle Buddies is providing you guys timely content when I feel that something is time sensitive. And this is something that I feel is time sensitive because everyone is getting these right now, okay? Um, and I want to show you guys how to uh, help with with getting these A to Z claims. Now, a couple uh, disclaimers that I want to give here before we dive into this. And if you stay all the way to the end, I am going to be giving you guys sort of a template that you can follow that, that should work. Um, but I do want to give a couple disclaimers. So first, um, this like set of words, this guide, this template, whatever you want to call it, um, this is not a guarantee. I, I can't guarantee that Amazon is going to reverse things. Amazon has rules, but they make the rules. And because they make the rules, they can break the rules. Um, and it's really their call if they want to <laughs> if they want to give it to you or not. So um, I can tell you the, the right things to say, but that doesn't mean it's, it's going to work 100% of the time. Okay? So I do want to preface it with that. Um, I want to preface this with this only works if you, like, did everything correctly. So what I mean by that... Did you buy your shipping through Amazon's buy shipping portal? If yes, then you're good to go. If you purchased your shipping through like USPS or through Pirate Ship or another third party, this is not going to work. You are out of luck. And that's why we say so many times on our channel, do not buy your shipping from anywhere that is not Amazon. Okay, we just saw people in our Facebook group talking about this. It drives me crazy that people still do this um, for a lot of reasons. This is the biggest. What I'm explaining today is why you should never do that. Okay, so buy all your shipping through Amazon. Um, I'm also going to assume that you actually did, like, ship your stuff on time, uh, that you didn't send it late or whatever else, and or you actually shipped it, period. <laughs> so there are a couple assumptions there. Um, but yeah, as, as long as you follow that, this, this should help out. Um, I do also want to ask, or I guess give the caveat, um, please do not copy and paste this word for word. That is not the purpose of this, and you will not see very much success copy and pasting uh, phrases like this, okay? Why? Well, because Amazon has software that will track if you are just copy and pasting things. It's like plagiarism software. Um, don't use that. Don't, <laughs> don't just straight up copy and paste this. Rewrite it with your own words. Make sure you're including like the links and, and some of these keywords that I'm explaining. Uh, but use this as like a guideline template so that you can write your own and then use your own uh, over and over for all your different claims, okay? All right, without further ado, let's dive into um, how to find these A to Z claims and how to actually appeal them and then what to say. Okay, so we're here on the uh, Manage A to Z Claims. To get here, um, when you're logged into uh, Seller Central, you go up here to Performance, and then A to Z Claims, okay? That'll bring you to this page. Now this, it's... This is kind of shady, in my opinion, what Amazon is doing here. Um, because when you first log into your A to Z claims, it looks like I have no claims. I have nothing that requires action, okay? But this is the problem that is going on right now. This is the change. Amazon has been playing a little bit dirty. Uh, obviously, Amazon wants to save money and cut corners where they can. Uh, oftentimes, that is kind of to the detriment of the sellers, unfortunately. We still make great money, but this is definitely a major complaint that sellers have. Um, what Amazon is doing here is they're automatically, without talking to you, they are automatically receiving these customer A to Z claims, accepting them, and closing them against you without hearing your side of the story, without anything else. They're just automatically, like, customer does it within 30 seconds. Boom, it's closed, it's done. No action is required by you, okay? Okay. But that's because they're all going over to this section where it says option to appeal. Uh, if you go to this, now on mine, I've, I've already appealed all mine, so it's, it's empty. But on yours, when you go to this option to appeal, you're going to see all the ones that you can appeal. I believe you have 30 days to appeal. It, it might be 7 days, but I'm pretty sure that's 30 days uh, that you have to appeal these. 
Um, go in there and appeal these as soon as you can, the sooner the better. Um, but yeah, that's when you get to appeal, you'll see a little button that says appeal. You click on that, it'll bring up a little writing prompt, okay? That's where you need to start talking about some stuff. All right, so I'm gonna pull up my little uh, guide template thing here. Again, don't copy and paste this, but I'm gonna show you some of these keywords that you need to be including um, that'll give you the, the best shot at this. All right, so first, be polite. Dear Amazon, be, be professional, okay? Dear Amazon, this order was shipped on, put your shipping date, uh, the tracking number is, put your tracking number, by USPS or whatever other carrier that you used. Uh, most likely it's going to be USPS though because they are the ones that are delivering everything late. <laughs> like, oh my gosh. Uh, it's Stuff is backed up like crazy. All right. Uh, the shipment can be tracked using this link. Here's another thing. You want to treat Amazon like a fifth grader. You want to assume that the person on the other end either doesn't want to do their job or has very little time to do their job. So you want to do their job for them, okay? So I'm providing them the tracking number. They could get that if they wanted it. I'm providing them what day I shipped it on. They could get that if they wanted it. And I'm providing them where to go that they can actually track this package for themselves. Like all of this information they could get, but you want to be the one that provides that to them, okay? According to the order's tracking information, the package was shipped to the correct address on and whatever date you shipped it on. This was within the required shipment date. This is an important thing to note. The shipment was purchased from Amazon using by shipping, okay? Another keyword that you need to make sure you include. According to Amazon's policy regarding by shipping services, Amazon will cover any non-receipt claims regarding shipments sent using their service, okay? That's, that's the basic synopsis, but you don't wanna stop there. You wanna make sure that you are quoting Amazon their own policies and giving Amazon links to their own policies because they oftentimes don't know what they are, all right? Here is Amazon's buy shipping policy addressing A to Z claims, all right? And then you quote it right here. If you purchase Amazon buy shipping on, and you ship on time, you are protected against claims where a customer reports problem with delivery. Amazon will cover the cost of these claims and they will not affect your order defect rate, your ODR. That's another thing a lot of us have really high ODRs because Amazon is incorrectly doing this, okay? And then you link to the policy. Boom, there's a link, and again, I'm gonna be putting all of this down in the description of this video so you guys have all of this for yourself, okay? Please credit my account and close this claim since the shipping was purchased from Amazon and as such is covered by the with the buy shipping policy. Thank you, all right? Fairly simple, fairly straightforward. That's what you're gonna to wanna to put in there. Um, again, make sure you're polite. Don't just straight copy and paste this, but use this as a guideline. Use some of these keywords, okay? You bought the shipping within the timeline and you used Amazon's buy shipping service. Therefore, you should be covered by them, okay? And, and they say Amazon will cover these claims themselves. It shouldn't be coming out of your pocket. It should be coming out of Amazon's pocket, all right? So that is how you file one of these claims. Now, if you have an A to Z claim about something else, this is not for that, okay? This is just specifically for the customers who are not receiving their packages in time and they're trying to get refunds and they're opening these claims, these A to Z claims with Amazon, okay? This is how you appeal them. This is how you win them. We've had fairly good success, but not 100% success because, you know, it's, it's Amazon. Um, let me know in the comment section down below if you try this, if it works for you. Don't forget to join the Facebook group, facebook.com slash groups slash hustle buddies. We've talked about this uh, in long depth. Um, the last big secret to success for getting your appeals to work is actually to like and subscribe to this video. <laughs> Oh, no, I'm just kidding. But that'd be great if you did. All right. Okay. That's it, guys. That's that's all for me. Let me know in the comment section if you have any other questions. I'm probably not going to be doing any other videos until uh, 2021. So we will see you then. And until then, hustle on. All right. See you, everybody.